was uh, <laughs> the seventh uh, World Cup final win for Sarah. So the two contenders split in the brackets. And first up, it will be Ella Gibson up against Jyoti Sareka Venom. Let's go down and meet them. number one, representing India, Jyoti Sareka Venom. On target number two, representing Great Britain, Ella Gibson. And the lineup for this match is Venom Teza. Well, Gibson, the, one of the star players last season, uh, currently ranked up at world number one, but Jyoti Venom, world number 11, matched the world record in the ranking round, Chef. Yes, she did. Uh, the world record set by Sarah Lopez uh, some years ago, but um, it, very impressive uh, score, 713 out of 720, uh, with an eight in the first half, and a perfect second half to finish it off. So does Britain's Gibson have the antidote for India's venom? Got his start to the line. So these first arrows in the match are always very important, especially in a uh, finals venue like this, where the wind might be different than uh, the practice venue. Uh, Jyoti has been out here today already, uh, but I feel like the wind maybe picked up a little more. Um, and yeah, I think her first arrow might have been maybe lack of side movement or maybe just nerves. You notice Gibson changing uh, something on her sight as well in between uh, shots. Yeah, it was a bit low, and uh, it's it's low again, so she is adjusting a bit. And uh, But the grouping is good. The, the arrows are close to each other, and that's what you're looking for mostly in the beginning. <laughs> Dialed into the middle, a 29 start for JT Sereka Venom. So both of the archers with, with a, a good start with their 29s for uh, out of a 30. Um, I think they both had to adjust a little bit to the finals venue. Um, but yeah, we're going to see what they can really shoot now that they have set their sights. So I casually call uh, that very first arrow a sighter. Is it fair to say that it is a sighter or are they already pretty dialed in? Um, in most cases, they're pretty dialed in. Uh, they try to adjust their side before going onto the uh, finals venue, but uh, you know, there's always a little bit of uh, unknowingness uh, when going into the finals venue. As that's that first arrow from uh, Venom showed, just a little low and left. Yeah, and uh, uh, Ella was also a little bit low, um, and you can see her move her side a bit accordingly as well. So scores confirmed, 29 apiece at this point. And uh, it is the first World Cup of the season. Chef, how about you just tell us exactly how the scoring works in the individual competition? So for compound, uh, individual competition is 15 arrows of scoring. Um, and it's a cumulative score. So all of the arrows just get added up to the arrows before. Uh, highest score wins. If the score is tight, they go into a shoot-off where the highest score wins or the closest error to the center wins. There you go. Nothing to separate them at this point. Venom against Gibson. India versus Great Britain. And number two. Hey. 
So we know from both of these archers that they can shoot incredible scores. Um, we've seen Jyoti before today. Uh, she shot a uh, perfect uh, mixed team match on her half. So uh, she shot seven X's and one just normal 10, uh, I say, but uh, it's, it's incredible. Um, Ella has shot some very high scores in final rounds before and also this week. So, yeah, this needs to be a very good final. I feel like there's no way this is not going to be a, a high scoring match. And they both they both look relaxed as well, as if they're just uh, you know another day in the office. Yeah, that last arrow from uh, Venom, d d it's going to be measured. It's going to they're going to have a look at it. Yeah, but well, they might as well have a look at it. But it's it's uh, I think there's no doubt that it's in. That's uh, confirmation. That was uh, Venom's target. And both athletes shooting a perfect score. Chef, they've been listening to you clearly. They uh, have set the standards very high. Yeah, and I'm sure that the, the two archers that are up for the next semi-final will also be watching this and thinking, ooh, this is some high-level stuff. Yeah, good point. I mean, you've been here many times before. What, what's it like waiting in the wings for the second semi-final? It's, uh, well, you always try to focus on your own match and your own shooting, um, but it's, it's, I think, pretty much impossible not to hear or see anything that's going on on the field. So if you were in a semi-final, you got to pick. Do you go in the first one or the second one? Which one are you going for? Uh, I don't think I would have a preference. The, the first one has the advantage that you don't know who you're going to shoot against, so you don't have that burden. Um, as in the, the match after, because obviously you know if you're going to go for bronze or for gold after the uh, match. Um, the the other side of it is um, if you go second, you can kind of see what the conditions are like and you can gather some information by looking at the others. It's uh, a long way of Chef saying he's going to sit on the fence on this one. Yes. End number three, Venom of India shooting first, tied up with Gibson of Great Britain. Third. A little bit of a longer hold there, but manages to make it stick. enjoy uh, looking at both of their techniques as well uh, they both have like a relaxed and, and uh, efficient technique where they don't have to put a lot of muscle muscle tension in you can see the, the forearm of Ella is really relaxed uh, you can see she's not pinching her bow um, and uh, just judging by the reaction of, of the shot uh, when the release goes off the bow just kind of leaves their hand and uh, they don't have to steer or do anything crazy to it so it's a, it's a lovely sight. Well, it's producing some crazy scores. Another perfect from Venom. Yep. And another score and from another Gibson. perfect from Gibson as well. This, uh, well, we were talking about this yesterday, Chef. We were saying how high quality the compound competition has been as a whole here in Antalya. You were talking about some of the, the scores in the ranking round. If you shoot 700, you, you ranked way down. I think you were looking at 40th place. Yeah, 49th maybe in the men's division. And uh, uh, for the ladies, I think you're in 16th with uh, 700. So, yeah, that's. I don't know if, that's a, if, if this is the highest scoring World Cup ever, but it's at least for recent World Cups, I cannot remember a higher scoring ones. Yeah, just to put that in context, in the ranking round, the archers shoot 72 arrows uh, to get a rank for the knockout stages. And that can give you a maximum score of 720 points. Venom matched the world record with a 713. And uh, 
Ella Gibson shot a 707. So it's just the quality and the depth as well of archers shooting at the very top level. What I thought was most impressive maybe about the um, uh, Venom shooting a 713 is that she shot at 353 out of 360 and then she shot at 360 out of 360 to get to that 713 so yeah that's insane. Well makes the meaning of the final four even more special. Nothing between Venom from India and Gibson from Great Britain as so we go into the fourth and penultimate end. Oh, uh, maybe a costly nine there. If there is a time to capitalize, it is now, I think. Nine. Have the wind conditions changed? They might have, because they were both on the left, I think. really start to feel the pressure now switching from side to side. Yep. It's difficult to see. There's no trees around or something else that we can really look at to see how windy it actually is out there. both dropped points with their very first arrows. Uh, Chef, are you, are you saying that there's no clarity if you look at the flags halfway down the, the range, in fact, they weren't bl blowing at all, but as we get different camera angles, we're seeing the wind conditions here. You can see in the background a flag uh, buffeting away, and that's a little bit more like what we're used to in Antalya. Yeah, and also the target flags, we just had a nice view of those, and um, they're fluttering a bit more than uh, they were this morning, so I think it's slowly picking up, and. Um, we might see a little bit more uh, lateral movement uh, in terms of aero grouping. Interesting that the athletes clearly were both affected in between ends three and four, both shooting a nine with their first and, like you say, both to the left. Yeah, so yeah, maybe it, it was the wind or because they didn't seem too uh, surprised with their shot. Maybe uh, they were like more surprised where the arrow landed. Gibson correcting that high left nine at the start with two tens, uh, but uh, Venom did the same thing, and we're all tied up at 118 points each with uh, three arrows from each archer before the end of the regulation 15 arrows. And as Chef said right at the top, if we can't separate them at that point, we go to a one arrow shoot off. Fun thing to note, maybe, if they both shoot a 40, they, uh, or sorry, shoot a 30 they would end up at a 148, which is also the score that they both shot in Paris last year when they met up in the World Cup in Paris and then they had to go to shoot off there. Well, Venom doing the first part of the job in end number five. They're also just so casual about it. They're shooting incredibly high scores, but they seem to be unfazed by the whole situation. Mm. Well, with the last arrow comes the biggest opportunity. A 10 from Venom, and she's through to the gold medal match. She gets it. Yeah, she does get it. It was called nine in venue, but it was a 10 as we switched over to targets. Another 30 from Venom, and a 148 is her biggest score so far in the competition in the knockout phase. Gibson shoots a second nine for a 28. 
uncharacteristically low and it does mean that despite her scoring or matching the best score she's shot here in Antalya Ella Gibson well, another one is into the bronze medal match wishing Jyoti Sareka Venom luck what a magnificent performance from the Indian chef